All right, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising weekly low of tarot reading, December 23rd to December 29th, uh, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, guys, uh, if you do want to get in touch with me for a pers personal reading uh, or you want to check your career tarot reading for that very same week, uh, you can check on the description down below your, where you're going to find my website, the link to my website and as well um, the link to the other video for Gemini there. And with that being said, let's jump in, jump into the spread. So the first card which stands for the topic of your uh, relationship life throughout the week, this is going to be the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the energies which are supporting uh, that topic we do have a big thing here really especially for those which are single guys uh, that is going to be the king of cups followed by the third one which represents the challenges that uh, you need to overcome here that is to be the seven of pentacles followed by the fourth one which represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week that is going to be the magician afterwards uh, it is how other people see you, and that is to be the Six of Wands, followed by the sixth card, which stands for what can help your long-term goal in regards relationships, uh, or in regards relationship, that is going to be the uh, Hierophant card, followed by the seventh card, which stands of what can hurt your long-term goal in regards to relationship, that is going to be the Eight of Cups, and the last one here, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Gemini, regarding relationship. This is going to be the uh, Empress card. So, um, Nine of Pentacles uh, as a topic and the King of Cups as the energy surrounding the situation. So, the energies that are feeding up the topic are the energies of deep emotional fulfillment or contemplation. I don't know how to say it. It's like you do have those quadrant, all right, of, a, uh, of emotions that you can, uh, or th this thing is going to start developing that you have to give to someone, to your person of interest, to your husband or a wife, to your partner. And that itself is going to provoke a few things. Uh, the the biggest thing that is going to provoke, it is some sort of an, an enterprise uh, that is going to be accepted or taken or seen as the person of, or from the person of interest or from the um, from your partner or whatever, you know, with great enthusiasm. It is like a leap in development into um, into future career uh, relationship, excuse me, development, development. But for those who are single, these two cards are definitely speaking that this week you are going to meet or you are going to start performing into with someone that it is like the big fish out there. I mean, it is like a, a big, it's, I can't say even opportunity, it is more like the, well, I would say the right one. Right, but we do have many right ones. The right one, it is the right one as a uh, uh, as a stereotype. Okay, so you can definitely, uh, for those who are single, you're gonna find out, stumble, or you're gonna start talking with uh, someone who is a, a very good match with you. And these cards are urging you to jump and leap into this development now. With the nine of pentacles here, especially with those energies. Um, your emotions are not gonna run wild at all. That is because you're gonna feel yourself quite secure emotionally wise, all right? So there won't be any drama, outbursts, or uh, you're not gonna find yourself crying as well and all these kind of stuff. And just on the contrary here with the Nine of Pentacles, we do have more exhilarating type of behavior where you're going to be eager and, and happy to see the person you're in love with or you have an interest in. 
uh, you know, you're going to feel thrills of coming back home from work and spending time with your wife or husband and so on and so forth. So it's like a, a time where you're going to um, boost the value of, uh, of being in a relationship or of being with the person that is a, uh, in interest of you. And that, believe me, is going to put a big impression into these people as well. So the other card here, uh, which stands as a... Um, challenges that you need to overcome that is going to be the seven of pentacles and that is the challenge of uh, the inactivity really I, I don't know how to say it so it's like the challenge of thinking of constantly is it really worth it or not and uh, from another standpoint this card could be seen as a challenge where you wait the other person to traverse the whole distance from in between you two and that card points that you both need to need to do your part all right you cannot expect that the other is going to do everything nor the other one can expect that you're going to do everything so uh it's like the challenge of not over killing it over performing it or underperforming it as well but it is where you need to uh find the right portions of emotional indulgement of emotional um contribution if you will and of uh, performance in general in regards to the relationship. So the other card here represents the gifts and the blessings uh, that you will enjoy throughout the week. So we do have the Magician and that points uh, to um, amplified communication, first of all, in between you two. But above everything else, the Magician points that... Um, whomever you have an interest in or whomever you are with right now, I'd simply going to stop trying to fix you, to change you or to make you in regards to their own image. But they will try to love you for what you truly are and you will do the same thing as well. And uh, with this card, it is very likely here, Gemini, that you are to redefine the true meaning of love throughout this week, December 23rd to December 29th. But the Magician also points to the gift and the blessing of indestructibility. So be mindful what kind of um, relationships you are involved in yourself in throughout this week, because whatever you do is going to be for like ever, right? You break up with something that is forever. You make up with something that is forever. So but just be mindful of what you do because it's going to be, like said, indestructible. So the other card here points of how other people sees you, how uh, your person of interest sees you, how your friends and family sees you, how your wife, husband seeing you. That is the six of uh, wands and they're going to see you as a uh, quite of a uh, happy person and quite of a, uh, how can I say it? Um, I don't know how to say it in, in English here. Well, they're going to give you the proper recognition, I would say, as a uh, true match, or rather like as uh, the person who works it, okay? And uh, with the six uh, of wands, uh, people are going to see you uh, as, uh, the, uh, as quite of a, a blessing of themselves and as exactly what they have needed. OK, so if you do need to change a uh, impression, you know, into or you did something stupid. We all do that. OK, recently. And you think that your person of interest is kind of seeing you in a very negative light. Well, this week, it is the week where you uh, change that impression into something much more a positive here. But definitely um People are going to see you as the knight in the shining armor, sitting on the white horse, you know, coming to save them in one way or another. So the other card here, which stands for uh, what is going to help your long term goals. And that is um, the Hierophant. And the first thing that comes to my mind, do not try to push it hard and harder than it needs to be. OK, because if you push it, well, there is a very good chance that it's going to be a shit, eh? So uh, the Hierophant points that uh, the future performance needs to go through, uh, first of all, 
having trust into one another. What I mean is that if this is a something that it is yet developing, you know, a relationship that it is in its very early stages, you need to work on building up trust into one another, okay? Like talking much uh, for the things you like, you dislike, and as well counseling each other and trying to solve the disagreements together and so on and so forth. Only through trust, you will find the true meaning of love. As a matter of fact, if you are looking for a, for a relationship, this card points that the next relationship, before you fall in love, you first need to have trust in this person and vice versa. Uh, but um, uh, the card itself points that you cannot uh, overstep or rather like you cannot miss a, a step in the future development. What I mean here, it is that if you uh, have a person of interest, for example, you first need to start talking more deeply, then start dating, then going on the romantic dinners, you know, and hanging out and so on and so forth. And only then, you know, thinking of a relationship or a, a profound relationship. So you need to kind of go through the ordinary way of how things are going on. The other card here points of what can uh, hurt your goals uh, or what you should not do. And that is the Eight of uh, Cups. So hurting your goals could very well be the, uh, the milder behavior. I don't know how to say it. When you are criticized and for the sake of not raising any kind of conflicts, you just, you know, keep your mouth shut. Okay, and being subordinate about everything. Uh, just on the contrary here, especially with the magician of a blessing, if you don't like something, speak about it. You know, if you do want something, ask about it because if you don't ask, the answer always is going to be no. So it also refers to some sort of a uh, uh, guts that you need to have. Okay, you like someone, well, Try it out. I mean, ask them out. If they if they deny you, at least you're going to know that they don't want to be with you or they don't have any interest in you and you can move on to the next one, all right? So you're not going to be trapped into just in waste time with a person who does not want to be around you. And the last card here stands for a guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Gemini, in regards to love. And that is the Empress card. So um, regardless of what kind of a stage of your relationship you are right now, Cancer, uh, not Cancer, but Gemini, excuse me, uh, you need to now cut the shenanigans off. You have to take the matters very, very seriously for your future relationship, romantic, love, family life, whatever. Uh, the situation from now on requires from you to seek only longevity and only maturity into relationships and into future development rather than, I don't know how to say it here, rather than, you know, just inconsistency and, uh, you know, kind of like uh, ups and downs into um, um, ups and downs into a romantic and relationship life. So uh, you need to what you need to do here with this guidance is to make a bit of a withdrawal and really decide what you want to do, who you want you you want to be with. Okay, especially if you are trying to decide in between two people, you're not going to be able to decide by waiting one of them to mess up and so choosing the other. Okay, you have to decide for yourself. And that can only happen if you detach for a couple of days or maybe for the week itself to place the mature, well-found and balanced decision for yourself. <clears throat> So that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly love tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, if you do want to get in touch with me for a personal reading or you want to check your career tarot reading for the week, you can check the, you can check the description down below. And there you're going to find a um, link to my website as well as a link to the video for the career video. And uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.